The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There's a woman, she had no children after 12 years. And she was the only surviving member, she was the only one that survived from her whole family, the Holocaust. And her husband was also the only one that survived, there were no siblings. And this meant that if she had no children, life is not going to go on. It's over. And she went to a, whatever fertility specialists were available, some odd 60 years ago. And she went to a doctor in, on Madison Avenue, and he said to her, Mrs. So-and-so, there's nothing more to do for you. Okay? Face the reality, you are not going to have children. And he went on to say, listen. She said, but maybe this, maybe that. He said, listen, I'm saying it to your own good. Okay? When hair will grow on the palm of my hand, you're going to have a child. Forget it. And she walked out of the office, and she got onto the Madison Avenue bus, and she said, I am never, ever going to get off this bus. I have nothing to live for. How exactly you can spend the rest of your life on a bus, I don't know. When a person is hurting, logic doesn't find its way into the normal uh, brain waves. And she's sitting on the bus back and forth and back and forth and thinking about she went to concentration camps and surviving and what did she survive for and think about her father and her mother and even Gan Eden, she won't be able to tell them, you know, there are generations. And at one point the bus driver got up in front of the bus, turned around and he said to her, Lady, you gotta get off the bus. It's the bus is going to the to the bus garage. She said, I'm not getting off this bus as long as I live. And the bus driver took his cap off and he said, Ma'am, I don't know what your problem is, okay? But I swear to you, it ain't going to get any better by sleeping in a bus garage. Get off the bus and get on with your life. And she felt that was a message, min hashemayim. That's what she felt. She said, okay, borei olam, thank you very much. You're right. You're right. I have no right to give up on my life. Whatever it's going to be, is going to be. She's going to get off. And a year later, she had a, she had a, she had a son. And I know that, because I'm the son. This was my mother. The, sometimes, Rab Tzaddik says it, sometimes the bracha in our life comes after yiyush. The bracha in our life comes after we are so upset, and rightfully so. We were so hurt, hurt in a relationship. Now, I'm not saying, chas v'shalom, the person's in an abusive relationship, you should stay in the abusive relationship. Do what you need to protect yourself. Of course, of course, of course. Consult, speak. But once it's over, it's over. Don't say, okay, now that I was bopped over the head, or worse, because I'm so angry, and I'm so hurt, and I'm so confused, and I'm so betrayed, that I'm going to continue to bop myself over the head the rest of my life. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org